Hey everybody, Alan Lepofsky here, and I have just finished setting up this new set of bookshelves for my office. And while I was doing so, I got to thinking the whole point was to unclutter things, and one of the things that cluttered up my office the most was the backdrops that I use. Now, if any of you have seen a lot of my videos, I, I tend to have, you know, backdrops up. Either something representing a brand or something representing, you know, uh, scenery or space or things like that. And I've been doing this for years, green screens or white screens, long before all our new web conferencing tools offer virtual backgrounds. You know, virtual backgrounds are amazing. They're fun. You can, with a click of a button, pop, you know, almost anywhere. You're in outer space. You're in France. You can do anything you want. But, you know, they're a little glitchy. They're perfect for web conferences, but they're not what you would use for product videos or professional videos because, you know, the green background kind of, you know, messes things up, it glitches, your hands disappear, all sorts of things happen. But it is fun for web conferencing. But for real videos, for years, I've been doing a real virtual back, or a real physical backdrop. And to do that, you have to set up all sorts of things. You set up all of these lighting stands, and I actually physically hang um, the banners across. I set up the stands, you then take a pole, hang these, use these film clips, and then hang the banners, hang the banners behind me. And so I got to thinking, is there an easier way for me to do this? Because I was always knocking them over, my dog was knocking them over, my kids were knocking them over, they took up a lot of room. So while I was building it, I, uh, you know, while I was at Ikea, I, I, I took a look at these little um, curtain hangers, the, the, these curtain rod hangers. And what they allow you to do is very easily, sort of against your wall, you know, run a curtain rod through. So I got to thinking, what if I just mounted these up here? And this became a really simple way for me to hang these banisters without having to put up the poles or anything like that. So let's take a look at how this works. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a minute here and quickly put these up. So I'm gonna jump over here, like this. I've got two of these. Okay, so now I have the brackets, the curtain rod hangers hanging up there. Just took a second. When I don't want them there, unscrew them. I'm actually gonna just leave them up on top, push towards the back, so nobody will ever see them. But now all I do, Now that I've gotten the curtain rod hung up, it's just as simple as take a few of these um, S hooks and a few clothespins. Ta da! Away we go. In just a few seconds, I've got banner hanging here now. I've got no poles to bump into or knock over while I'm filming. It makes it really, really simple. So I think this has been a really nice trick. When I'm done, uh, I can easily swap these around. I've got green screens, I've got white screens, I've got all sorts of different backgrounds. And uh, when I don't want to use them, I can just take this all down and I'm going to leave it up at the top where people can't see it anymore. So I think this is a pretty nice hack, makes things pretty simple to get those nice physical backdrops, which are actually better for filming high quality videos. And uh, I hope this has been a great trick. We're all working from home these days. I hope this helps. Bye.